there everybody it's Sally Cathcart here again for another teaching tips so today we're going to be looking at the second pillar in the uh, piano teaching framework piano teaching framework and in this pillar we're thinking about being a teacher and it includes topics as you might expect about subject knowledge and planning and teaching and and these these kind of aspects but really before we can get to any of that, I think it's really essential that we consider our beliefs and values as piano teachers. And one question to ask yourself is, why do I teach? Why do you teach the piano? So I wonder whether you have ever come across a chap called Simon Sinek, who has done a fantastic TED talk and he's also written a book as well and it, the, this TED talk is one of the most watched TED talks that there are around so there's a good chance you you might have seen it but I went back and watched this again not that long ago and it's about great leaders who inspire action great leaders on why they manage to inspire action it's well worth finding if you haven't seen it or seen it for a while now as part of this TED talk, he discusses something that he calls the golden circle and how big companies tend to get their priorities wrong when presenting what they, what they sell or what they do to their customers. Now, what people normally do is they present how and then what they do rather than why they do it. And this can make a huge difference. So here we go. So here's, here's my version of the golden circle. Um, he reckons that instead of starting here with the what and the how and then the why, the place to start is in the middle. Work out the why and then you actually become far more, um, if people understand why you do it, your beliefs and your values, in other words, you can present yourself with a lot more conviction because it's deeply rooted within you. So consider your why as part of the golden circle. Why are you teaching the piano? Now, um, once you get down to the nitty gritty of this, it, the what and the how can follow on. So for me, why I teach the piano is I believe that I, well, I do, not I believe, I do, I teach music through the piano as I believe that it's a really positive force um, in the world that can actually help us to connect something very, very deep inside us that can't be touched by words. And I believe that my teaching helps to make an impact on other people's lives and help them change their perception of the world and how to live in the world. And that provides me with a really, really powerful motivation to do all that I do, whether that's playing the piano myself or the Tuesday teaching tips, well, they're not Tuesday any longer, Wednesday teaching tips, or whether it's writing books or whether it's teaching my students. Now, it can be really quite hard to connect with your why, but maybe with holidays already upon some of you and holidays for others around the corner, that will give you a bit of time and a bit of headspace to actually sit down and reflect on this. Because if you can find that why within you, then it will motivate you to actually go and develop as a teacher. And one book actually that I've just pulled off my shelf that might help you to do that is this book, which is Paul Harris's latest book, Unconditional Teaching. And that will really help you to connect I think with a bit of your why and consider some of the aspects that will help you to do that and I can unconditionally um, recommend it. So next week I'll be back and I'll be looking more at this uh, pillar of being a teacher but for the moment giving you a bit of homework to do to go and have a look at Simon Sinek's um, TED talk and consider your why do I teach if you've got some already suss that out for yourself we'd love to hear so do pop it in the chat box below thank you so much for watching see you next week bye for now